Salam alaikum. As you can see from my previous videos, I've started learning Arabic and one of the biggest reasons for me to learn Arabic is that I am going to move to Dubai very soon. Basically, I have found a job in Dubai and although I know that in Dubai everyone speaks English, but still I think learning Arabic it's important to get closer to the locals and to their culture. Also because I've been growing up in Italy in a Christian Catholic environment so I know almost nothing about Muslims. So now I am going to share with you how I am going to learn Arabic, like what are the plans. First of all, I'm not going to treat Arabic like I treated Chinese. So I learned Chinese fast in like eight months because I went to China. But this is not going to happen with Arabic because at the time I was studying Chinese, I was only studying Chinese. I was not working. It was like pretty much realistic to do it. But this time it's impossible for me even studying Arabic for one hour a day. Also because I'm joining a Chinese company and Chinese companies make you work over time a lot like you have a really good salary but at the same time you have to work a lot so that's why I'm saying I think I will study like two hours a week and that's all I still have to purchase a book to learn Arabic but I don't think I will do it right away I still want to understand how is this language because you know it's complex it has like tons of dialects and I need to understand what I need to do of course I'm going to learn the Emirati dialect but what I know is that I'm not going to buy a book full of grammar because what I need I think it's like a lot of practice so I'm just you know looking for a book with a lot of exercises a lot of uh, things that make you you know that stimulate your brain to think in Arabic so for now I'm just trying to learn Arabic with Duolingo of course I never use Duolingo I just use it for learning the Arabic alphabet and also I am using arabpod101.com which has like a lot of free materials a lot of study decks and I am also considering joining an Arabic language school in Dubai. I am still considering about taking private classes because you know when you have a private class you can talk to the teacher, you can ask questions freely, while if you take group classes it's different because there might be like four or eight people and so like you're not as much free to you know ask questions and everything. Nevertheless I think I'm going to take group classes because of course I I want to meet people in Dubai, I want to make friends, I'm not going there just you know to work and earn money, I'm going there to network so I think this is like a great way to meet same-minded people. Another thing that I will do once I will get to Dubai will be watching television and this is because I think it helps you a lot understanding the culture and also I can try shadowing the things that they say like they say I don't know a word and I can try to repeat it like a lot of times. Now don't get me wrong I'm not trying to learn Arabic just because I am going Going to Dubai I think I love the language I love the sound of it like for example for French like many people tell me oh you can speak Spanish you can speak Italian you should definitely like learn French but this is not something that I'm going to do because like I don't know many people think that when French people speak French they sound really romantic but I don't find them <laughs> to be romantic I don't know I'm sorry uh, probably this is like an unpopular opinion just you know let me know what you think what I know is that I'm not going to learn French just because other people are learning it I want to feel the language I want to be like okay I like the language I like the sound I want to have like different reasons not just because other people do it not just because it's one of the most popular languages that you could learn of course I'm going to document all of the process of learning Arabic and this is because like a few weeks ago I went on YouTube and I typed how I learned Arabic to see like if some youtubers were doing this and 
I actually found nobody talking about this. Of course, this is like personal thing. It might take me like, I don't know, one year or maybe two years to actually speak the language fluently without any problems. And maybe to someone else might take, I don't know, six months. It's different, but I still think it's interesting to know. Now you must watch this video and I'll see you there.